The stories of the heroes here in Boston yesterday, the men and women who rushed into the chaos to try to help just after those harrowing explosions rocked the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Then there were those there who weren't trained for this, who simply adrenaline kicked in and they stepped in to do what they could to help. And then there were those who ran straight toward the chaos. That's what Americans do in times of crisis. We come together and we help one another. Moments like these, terrible as they are, don't show our weakness, they show our strength. My first instinct was to just run across the street and start helping out the people. He sprang into action, stopping the bleeding of an injured bystander who lost both his legs. He never left his side, holding his hand till help arrived. My boss's brother was at the Boston Marathon, and he said he carried a five-year-old who had lost her legs five blocks to an ambulance. This morning, they are being hailed as heroes. Former New England Patriot Joe Andruzzi, who was there in support of his cancer foundation, is seen here carrying an injured woman to safety. We see that for every act of terror, <laughs> heroes emerge. There's got to be people hurt out there. We were watching and, and videotaping some folks, even high-fiving them and cheering them on, and all of a sudden this blast went off. It made us, it just shook us in our feet. And we were looking right at where it went off, so I saw the plume of smoke come up off the sidewalk. And we froze for a second, really not realizing what it was.